Hi all, welcome back for another battle report. Um, this time it's the start of the Flames of War League, it's a thousand points. Um, I think I've got a write up um, about it at the end of season two. Um, so just look at the rules and that, we're doing it there. Um, this is going to be quite a short battle report. Unfortunately this is the battle I didn't want to play, but I ended up playing so I'm glad I got it out of the way first. Um, this is my Ma Romanian motorised company up against um, a British Churchill company. Uh, this is late war by the way. So the mission I got against him was um, breakthrough, uh, and the Churchills have to break through my line. And this is the table setup. Um, as you can see, the Churchills are on this left-hand side there, um, and there's two objectives in his opposite table court. He's got a breakthrough too, and he's also got um, the Churchills just out of sight on the left-hand side. There are his artillery Churchills, and he's got another another uh, company of three Churchills coming in from the other board edge. So um, I've got very few guns that can even dent the Churchills, um, even if I can, he's got a 2 up save against most of it, um, in some cases a 3 up. So in this battle I've just hidden most of my guys in the woods because I can't engage them. Um, I've left my anti-tank guns out at the top edge there, um, just to try and shoot them. Uh, with the river there, we've made it impassable to the vehicles, so the vehicles have to go across the bridge anyway, which helps out just a bit. Over on the other side, I've got my three Stug Gs. Um, they're again just prone to try and ambush the uh, incoming Churchills. And uh, another unit of um, Venatory squad, um, including two uh, Panzer Shreks as well. Um, as you can see, these are new additions to my army for the late war. I normally play mid war, so it's nice to have the Stugs and Panzer Shreks for a change, but unfortunately, they're not painted. And here's my opponent's force. Yeah, um, he's got to, on the left hand side is his artillery Churchills, um, they spend the game trying to smoke me out, but fail, and I think that's led by the second I see, he's got another platoon of Churchills at the front, another platoon of Churchills at the back, each of these um, Churchills in the wood and beside the river have got their upgraded armour, so I think their front armour 9, something horrible like that, and I think it's the commander there as well in that top group. So my opponent gets first turn and uh, slowly moves up with everything. Uh, most of it's still out of line of sight. Uh, as I say, his artillery ones try and smoke my anti-tank guns. Over here, this guy tries to fire on my anti-tank guns too, um, but to uh, little effect. In my turn, my aircraft come in and um, drop a bomb on these guys. Don't do anything. Everything else around me fires that it can. Can't hit anything. Yes, yeah, it's gonna be a hard game for my Romanians. Um, my opponent's turn. He um, moves the Churchills to open fire on these guys, uh, utilizing, utilizing the machine guns. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, yeah, only got four hits on me, which I'm quite grateful for. So I don't think I'd fired yet. So um, I was concealed in that, so it was about like six hits hit because these were. Veterans were changed, so he tried to pin me because it was a reluctant troop. Um, if you don't know, Romanians have to go for their, um, their, you know, their training and morale each game. Um, these guys were reluctant veterans. But unfortunately, the, one of the machine gun shots did go through. I passed my 3 up save and I uh, failed my 3 up save and I managed, managed to roll a 6 to uh, kill him, which is slightly annoying. So, things looking somewhat like that. Um, remember that Churchill that's up on the hill by itself there? Um, on the right hand side, that's one of the objectives he's got, and the other objective you can just see the corner out of the table quarter. In my turn, I was un ineffective at pretty much everything, uh, nothing could get through the armor. Um, my aircraft didn't turn up. Oh, by the way, I still have, uh, I left in reserve my cavalry and my R2s because they were only going to be destroyed, there's nothing they could do against the Churchills, so I left them in reserve. Uh, I do roll for them, but they don't come on during this game. Uh, so yeah, he shoots again with his machine guns and again manages to roll a 6 to get uh, another one of my guns destroyed. So that's pretty much my anti-tank gun on this flank. So with my anti-tank gun, him not too bothered about me. Um, he's made it, started making it as advance here um, across the bridge. Um, the only other serious anti-tank I've got now is my Panzer Shreks and um, my Stugs there. Other than that, I can't hurt them. I mean, even with my Stugs, I think he's got a 2 up or a 3 up save against it all. And I just cannot find any side armors at all. 
So with nothing to lose, I, I, my Panzer X part of this team um, move up and try to engage the uh, engage the Churchills. That's the only air tank I've got. I mean, it's not bad. I think it's only tank 11, and there's a chance I hit some side armor. He's he got his turret facing towards me, and they do me proud. I uh, managed to take out one of the Churchills and bail another. And with the help of the Stub G's, um, it gets rid of that platoon. So that's perfect. So it's looking something like this. Um, his Churchills in the top there are engaging my Stugs. Um, neither of us are able to dent each other, uh, though I do think he managed to bear one of my um, one of my Stugs in that. Um, yeah, that's all he's doing. He's moving up his um, his artillery Churchills as well. So a little bit of hope glistens as on the horizon. My bomber comes in and to take out two of these guys um, with a template hit. Uh, managed to hit all three and does nothing. All bounces off. So as my opponent's turn, he um, gets his reserves on. Uh, they come on cap to capture the objective. He puts the Churchills into the uh, woods, so my bomber can't strafe them anymore. And that's it. There's nothing I can do to get rid of those Churchills, so he'll be capturing objective at the beginning of the turn. Okay. Well, right, so that was it. Uh, that was an extremely hard fought fight battle for the uh, Romanians to do. Um, Flames of War is a good, good enough system, but again, as I've said in many of my videos, I don't like any system whereupon there's um, a zero chance of um, units being destroyed or damaged in any kind of way. Because um, when that happens, you have you can skew it and uh, all goes to shit. Which pretty much happened here because um, once my anti-tank guns have vanished, I mean they weren't even seriously doing any damage to them anyway. But once they've gone, that was it really. Um, there's nothing I could do about the Churchills. Um, they were free to go through and take the objective. But hopefully now uh, we'll be on to some actual infantry battles and uh, the worst was that way. So take care all. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, please like, and I'll see you next time. That was.